Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be working on the outside. I have a project in the backyard that I wanna work on and I thought I'd get it started today. Probably won't finish it today, but at least get started. Uh, for those of you new to my channel, I have a little she shed is what I call it in the backyard. And a number of years ago, my husband and myself built it. Um, it's actually made from old windows that used to be in his home place. They lived on a farm, so from his home farmhouse. Uh, beautiful old windows we used along the front and those swing out to let some air in there and at one point I actually used it as a greenhouse I started you know seeds in there and since then I fixed it up and created a little space for me to kind of get away from everything uh, just a little retreat to sit in sometimes I'll film some videos or do other work or just relax um, of course during the winter you know I don't heat it all the time so it gets pretty cold and during the summer pretty hot so it's not really usable year-round but there are times when I'll use it I was looking at my shed the other day and I thought to myself it really does need a makeover um, it's one of those things that I just kind of got used to how it looks and then I started to really look at it and I noticed you know things that should be repaired and repainted and just tidied up a bit maybe around it uh, so that's what I plan to do this week we actually have a nice day in the forecast where I think I'll be able to paint probably not today today's a little bit chilly but I thought I have about an hour and a half before I need to start supper I'm gonna go out and start cleaning up around it sometimes stuff like that takes more time than the actual painting that I plan to do so join me as I work on this and enjoy I'll give you guys a brief before tour. As you can see, things are pretty brown and drab looking around here. Can't wait till things start to green up here in Ohio. But I'm kind of thinking of maybe doing something else along the front here. As you can see, I have a kind of a stone wall, kind of a separate flower bed up along the top. And I really have a hard time growing things to begin with because of the roof. Uh, things don't get the rain that they need. So I'm not quite sure at this point what I'll do with that. I think at least trim that sedum down and maybe take that vine off, which I need to do that if I plan to paint. And then walking around the shed, I'm really embarrassed to show you guys, but I managed to somehow create a storage of sorts behind my shed where I just kind of plopped anything that I wasn't sure where to put. And this is what it looks like. all kinds of pots and then I have some wood sections gates and fence boards that I need to be rid of they're actually rotting um, it's not that it's anything can really even be done with it I'm not sure why I stacked it behind here going to the other side I still have my little cat shelter I always plug that in that's a heated cat house for stray cats and it does get used a lot so basically just taking these vines down so that I can paint. I live in a family with boys, as you can hear. Now, to even get started with moving things away from my shed, like the back end of my shed, cleaning that up, I probably need to bring some pruners back here and just make a path for me so that I can actually walk through because there are a lot of multiflower roses and also hydrangeas, Annabelle hydrangeas, kind of growing up against the building. A few times during this video, I'll be pausing the music just so you guys can hear the actual outside music. Uh, just love to hear the birds singing. Uh, definitely some signs of spring going on here in our area. Always so welcoming.
John kindly did some caulking for me. Uh, the one window pane had even fallen out. I guess old windows like this just need to be repaired every now and then. But to me, it's so worth it. I just love the look of them. I'll give you a brief little overview of this shed. It's right around 14 years old, and the measurement is five foot wide by around 10 foot long, so not very big. I only ever painted it once, and that was when it was brand new. And of course, the wood had that orangish, yellowish glow to it. And I wanted the shed to look, you know, weathered and kind of whitewashed. So first, I applied a coat of gray paint covering everything and then over that I made a mixture of water and white paint which is whitewash and just lightly applied that not covering all of the gray and that kind of gave me that weathered look that I wanted but I've noticed in the last years especially the front part here has really worn off to just almost a gray and that's why I thought it kind of needed a new look. The paint I'm using here is Do It Best brand paint. Uh, it is an exterior satin sheen and the color is called Powder White. Often I'll go for my Spectral. You guys know how I like Spectral, but I found this color and I really like it too. It's very similar to Spectral, but I'd say it's maybe even just a shade more on the gray side. But out here it's still going to look very white, I'm sure. The siding was really rough, so my paint really seeped in. Ended up taking a lot longer than I expected, but I thought it was kind of satisfying as I was editing this video to see the fast forward motion here, but trust me, it took a lot longer than this. At this point I'm not even sure that I'll paint the back side of it. It's not really necessary as far as the paint is still on there and it's really protected from the weather. And during the summer with all of the bushes that kind of grow up against it, you really don't see the back or the one side of it. So we'll see how much paint I have left over after painting the sides that are most visible. Here I'm using my cordless Dyson sweeper to do a bit of cleaning. Honestly guys, I don't think I could be without this sweeper. Yeah, they are a bit pricey, but so worth it, or to me anyway, and I think especially with boys, uh, you know, having boys, I can get them to actually sweep, and I think sometimes it's because it's just so handy to just grab. You don't have to mess with cords or anything, and it has good suction. I'll link it down below in the description box in case you're looking for something like this. I fixed some water and soap and just want to clean some of the ledges and the floor in here. Um, haven't cleaned it all winter, so definitely a buildup of some dirt. And don't get me started on these amazing Norwex cloths. I've talked about them before here on my channel, but this is something I definitely couldn't be without to clean my windows with. The gray cloth I dampened going over the window first with that and then going over that with a polishing cloth to dry things up and you'll get a streak free window every time. I also have my friends link down below in the description box in case you're looking for any Norwex products. Uh, they have a lot of amazing things. I also really like their mop and they have a good cleaning paste. Uh, lots of other products. Make sure to check that out if you're looking for some good cleaning products. I always thought a little light would look so good on this side of the shed. I uh, found one on Amazon that I really liked, and John is kindly installing it for me. I decided for now I'll just leave the rocks along the front here. And I'm going to remove my rose bush and just transplant it somewhere else. I just feel like it never did very well there. And I definitely want to plant something else along the front here. 
Not quite sure yet at this point, uh, maybe even some ground covers, plants that will do okay if they're slightly under a roof. I wanted to do a decoration refresh in here of sorts. Um, I love this wooden sign and I'll probably hang it up again eventually here, but uh, for the spring and summer season, I'd love to have something else here. And I found these really pretty floral signs in the antique mall. I thought it would look really good in here, just a fresh breath of spring. I'd love to have some live house plants, but of course I can't with the weather and I don't really wanna heat it at this point. So my goal is to keep my eyes peeled for some real looking faux greenery. And I have a few plants. I'll probably use this olive tree that I made uh, last year. I'll link that video down below in the description box in case you're wanting to do something like this. But it was really simple. I just got the greenery at Walmart and kind of created my own little tree. And then I have some other greenery that I plan to use in here for now. And again, just want to keep my eyes open for maybe a ficus tree, faux ferns. Uh, some like that I think would look good in here. Of course, I don't have to worry about the temperature if I just go with uh, the fake stuff and I still kind of have that look that I want. I will link anything that I can down below in the description box in case something catches your eye that you'd want for yourself. I feel like it's a grapefruit and mint kind of day. Uh, this smells so good, uh, so clean and refreshing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully next time I bring you back here, things will be greened up a bit. Can't wait for that. I'm so relieved I got this makeover done. I think it looks so much better. As always, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.